So thank you for everybody uh, to come to the privacy talk. Uh, this time I'm so privileged to invite the Mr. Arek uh, from Kyiv. Uh, he's uh, working a very exclusive, a very important role in the Kyiv city. Uh, I'm so happy to explore his experience and his uh, very remarkable actions uh, in this moment. So Mr. Arek, thank you for uh, coming to this interview. Uh, thank you for uh, having me and thank you for your support uh, to Ukraine and all Ukrainians in this war against our country. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I I'd like to share uh, your profile. Uh, Mr. Orek is a CIO of uh, Kyiv City. He has more than 15 years of experience in the field of system integration, successful cases of product development from scratch, and the implementation of national projects, smart reading developer. Um, so this time I will um, talk about uh, some agenda with him about his work as well. So uh, let me start uh, the today's agenda. Uh, at the first, I, I direct to uh, ask about uh, your career and your role. So you work for the uh, Kyiv city this moment, then you do a lot of very important roles there. So wh why did you start uh, your current role in Kyiv city? And uh, what are you doing uh, as a CIO in this moment? Okay, I will make short in short introduction in my previous life and uh, more focusing on that role. What what we are doing now? All my life, I am familiar with IT from uh, data analytic. Uh, my my diploma was about data data analytics, and after that, I practices from system administration to the owner of the company which provide uh, big uh, IT solutions for big corporate clients. Uh, why I am here? Because cool. Kiev is my city, it's capital of my country, uh, that all my life uh, I live here. And um, that was my personal challenge to change uh, uh, my country for a better way, how, how I see it. Uh, to realize my, my my vision of digital transformation. And uh, when I took these positions, uh, the, the main uh, challenge was to uh, adaptation and uh, implementation of digital strategy, which uh, started from the concept of smart city. It was more popular five years ago. And... Um, now, uh, under my responsibility, it's uh, all digital spheres. And as we understand now, digital is everywhere in every sphere. It's medicine, it's transportation, it's ecology, the same. All they basing on some, some data. And we are working with this data. So our responsibility is to implementation of uh, good transformation, anti-corruption project, uh, change management uh, with uh, digital uh, aspect. Thank you. Uh, I, I think uh, it's in uh, Kyiv. Um, you do a lot of the job before the this war, uh, since they tried to become a digital forest city. Uh, I was so inspired with some of the interview. Uh, that's the uh, Kyiv uh, Digital Transformation Office is working so hard to uh, give a uh, good access for the citizens. So could you share about uh, your work at the Kyiv uh, Digital Transformation Office? And uh, you are concerned with the Kyiv Digital App. And could you share about uh, this work as well? Yeah, uh, maybe I will make short intro about the Kyiv. Uh, Kyiv is the capital of Ukraine. Ukraine has a population more than 40 million people. Uh, medium uh, quantity of uh, citizens in the Kyiv, it's 3.5, 3.6 million uh, inhabitants. 
And um, we have a b- big challenge with the transportation because we have more than 1 million unique numbers uh, in the city daily. It's quite, quite a lot. And uh, we have river who cross the city into two halves. And we have several, only several bridges, and this is our limitation. So, and uh, all this, it's what what we are um, working around. Before the war, uh, of course, our main challenge was to make the living of uh, citizens comfortable in our city. In in this way, we used d- digital technology to make comfort. Uh, in parking, comfort in uh, using the transportation, comfort in communication with city, receive the services and provide feedback. Uh, that's why in the January 2021, we launched the application. This is the logo of uh, application. It's called Kiev Digital. And uh, there are three main spheres what we implemented there. It's personal notification write uh, messages to you about your householding, about your square, about your city, about your zone of interest in, in the city. The second one, it's transportation. It's about the public transport. So this is electronic ticket to use your public transport daily. And uh, for drivers, uh, it's parking in the city area. And the third one, that was the project of electronic democracy like, for example, sharing budget. So we're voting for the project inside the application, and that project who collects the most votes, every vote signed with electronic signature, uh, that project receives funding from the city budget for implementation. I see. Uh, In terms of the developing the city app, I suppose the, there is the, some challenge such as like the usability for the citizens, as well as the, some security or privacy, any other concerns. So how, how do you overcome those kind of the challenges uh, within a digital team? Um, of course, uh, when we implement um, our, when we design, it's more, more correct, when we design that solutions, what we are planning to implement, we base them on some frameworks and uh, that data privacy, security data privacy, it's one of them. And um, we don't collect that data what we don't use. For example, you can up, uh, download the app, uh, uh, register there only with your telephone number without name, surname, nothing, only for to send you uh, verification code and after that the base level of um, uh, services which you use in an application don't need any kind of authorization uh, if you want uh, for example take a part in partitional budget and we know uh, that you as a citizen in this moment we ask your permission and uh, after that only you can provide and again we don't uh, collect this data you can provide it through national services of authorization we have several of them one is of most popular it's bank id based on your card account so we we we, uh, provide this kind of integration for authorization so in this case we're going through the worldwide framework and uh, uh, trying to follow it. In in the case of uh, cybersecurity, it's another challenge. And uh, of course, in in context of war, uh, it's quite a challengeable task. We have uh, our internal uh, monitoring and cybersecurity center, which is based on all services uh, inside the city and uh, they have a lot of work that's what i can tell but uh, at the same time the main services is protected Uh, our city cooperate with a lot of worldwide known partners as cisco fortinet uh, as cloudflare and, and the same this company provides to us uh, good, good solutions. They help us uh, to be ready to, to the challenges. And 
in this case, I think this uh, this challenge is the same as for any corporation worldwide. Uh, we are facing the same challenges. Yeah, thank you for sharing. That's a very remarkable action and collaborations to provide a safety app for the citizens. Uh, so the, the next next question is, uh, I, I'd like to move to the more uh, your commitment uh, since the start of the war. I, I think a digital team uh, had to take a very important role uh, when the war was realized. So could, could you share about uh, your work in digital team? Uh, what uh, was the digital team has been committed uh, after the war has been started? Okay. You know, uh, after one year, uh, we, we can uh, make humor about uh, uh, some moments uh, from the beginning of the war. But, you know, that was the best test of business continuity plan what I have ever. Because um, in, in general, uh, if you ask 10 IT directors about their BCP DRP plans, uh, I think only half of them uh, test them in the right moment, in the, like in shadow in the calendar. Half of them don't test them always. They write them on paper and ready. And some of them even don't have the paper ready for, 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 for every moment. And um, this, this is challengeable because that was a massive evacuation from the Kiev. And our team in the same moment trying to save their families, but at the same time uh, trying to solve work tasks and provide services. Uh, in that moment, application was already uh, launched and uh, have more than 1 million uh, users. Uh, the first challenge was its um, missile attack that was woke up all our team at 5 a.m. And um, we understand that we, we have to communicate to citizens what to do, what we have in uh, our official website. That's why we used our main application in this way and started to communicate to people what to do and uh, how to find uh, the evacuation, uh, what to do in this moment, where to go, and notify about next wave of the missile which was launched. From this moment, it started. After that, the challenges only increases because uh, the some people leave the city, but from other cities, uh, people start to arrive to, to, to Kyiv. We needed to provide to them services, provide them right information. And uh, first, our role, it's about right information in in right moment, in right channel. It's become the main main role. In, in the same time, uh, we, we have implemented uh, our BCP plan. So we understand that we have still be present. We have a national uh, critical uh, infrastructure services provided in the city, like for example, video surveillance. We have to support it and uh, make available for uh, that users who need them. That's our team have full uh, time uh, presented in the city, in, in city management. Yeah, that's a, a excellent work. I, I think it's an emergency case. I suppose too that the internet connection is a crucial uh, for like uh, continuous read the walking on these things. So how, how do you uh, look in after this, this kind of infrastructures uh, throughout the startups of the war? Uh, we, we have, uh, in, in Kyiv, we have three main telecom operators who provide a uh, mobile network. They have uh, almost in all city 4G coverage. It's quite enough. And was the main challenges was to stabilize their work and uh, make available services. But in the same time, the bomb shelters was uh, the places where is not always even the mobile coverage uh, presented. That's why we... Uh, we um, call our partners, uh, the city providers, uh, 
uh, internet providers and they help us to cover more almost 1000 uh, bomb shelters with wi wi-fi access it helps uh, to people provide work from bomb shelters our teachers now uh, knows how to provide the lessons in the bomb shelters and etc it helps uh, to city live and people uh, used the internet in way to receive the right uh, news what what's happening around and work from the, from from bomb shelters uh, so this is uh, one moment in and uh, about other services which we provided in implementation we uh, reinvented google again because when the invasion started google closed um, the service provide changes on the map and uh, that's why the opening hours and the availability was not correct on, on the Google Maps in that moment. That's we call the small businesses um, to provide us information when they're open. It's about the food stores, it's about the uh, pharmacy, it's about uh, car services and all, all others. And for example, in that moment, through our information, which we collected only uh, 20 uh, car services in 3.5 million city work for that moment. Uh, that because a lot of people evacuated again. And um, we prob we collected from almost 5,000 small businesses information about their work and put it on the map and provided it uh, to citizens. That was really useful in, the, in, in that moment too. Yeah, it is a very... Uh quite so uh, aggressive to work on on the moment and your team is a very excellent in this case uh, so that I, i'd like to move to the next uh sections to uh, ask about the secure networks uh, i think uh, in the digital infrastructure is becoming uh, much more important in case of this emergency situation so what, what does your team prioritize to secure and the city digital technology in this moment? Uh, the, the first was uh, challenge its physical uh, disruption of our main data center. Uh, because uh, we saw how Russian use the missiles in, in that way that we, they really want physically destroy um the buildings the our internet infrastructure because they they trying to uh, hit the places where place the main rotors uh, for ua it's all ukraine segments and um, our data server data center provides uh, quite uh, critical services to the city management that's uh, why we, we, we saw that and uh, we focusing on merge on uh, data and archive data, what, what, what we have uh, in backup and um, remote uh, site. And at the same time, uh, we have uh, physically damaged our network by the missiles, by the bombs, and uh, by the groups of uh, um, spionage groups, I don't know how to call, call them correctly, who was in the city and uh, worked uh, in, in hide way, but they trying to destroy video surveillance, uh, networks, and that's all needed to be support. And uh, the, the, like the red line across all the processes it was the cyber security because it started two days before the wave of the attacks to our services and uh, it's continued through the first week very actively that's why this services so data protection services infrastructure uh, con business continuity uh, implementation for infrastructure level and cybersecurity. This is three area which was on the table daily. Yeah, you do the work with a very complicated process with your team. I, I suppose the, it's a, a very hard work, uh, maybe just the, in compared to the other cybersecurity infrastructure in those cases. 
I uh, have related some interviews and some articles uh, related to your work uh, about the interview. I was so impressed that the uh, you mentioned the uh, keep digital app has been a very functionality piece. The one uh, important note is just uh, like to give our citizens been a democratic processes of the voting. I think it's a very interesting just uh, giving the rights to the citizens to make a decision uh, to join on this process. Uh, but and again, uh, there is uh, some concerns about uh, some privacy or information disclosures. Uh, maybe this is uh, one of the challenging parts uh, for the citizen and app developers. So, what what did you discuss about these privacy concerns to over to overcome to achieve uh, the voting processes? Or is there any tips that you are tried uh, so through the, any conversation with? the other stakeholders? Mm, okay, from from the side of democracy, electronic democracy services, which we provided, we have now uh, implemented three services. First of all, uh, it's a partitional budget. Uh, here you need your um, bank ID authorization. The second one, it's pools. Uh, here you don't need authorization, so you, you can mm, take part in whatever you want. Uh, we, we count the, the votes and uh, work with uh, only the amounts of, of, of the numbers. Yeah. And uh, the third one, it's petition. So it's, um, mm, it's a service which helps to provide directly to city government the questions from the citizens uh, if they collect 6,000 votes. Uh, this uh, all what, what, what we implemented now, we, we're working on, but this is, uh, that's all what, what we have now in electronic democracy. Uh, as I mentioned from uh, data security, um, we used external uh, authorization system, which we already uh, have uh, in 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 the city and in in our country by the law, and it it protected uh, by the national uh, systems on quite high level. Of course, to have your any kind of digital authorization, it's risk, but it's the same as as your bank account and uh, any other services uh, provided. We are. Uh, working under one low uh, ecosystem, and uh, we are the similar. But the, from other side, we, we we see that involvement of the citizens in electronic de democracy processes in the city they increasing uh, uh, all all the time from uh, from implementation of these services. That show us that we are on the right way. Uh, on the national level, uh, now we have service of um, document, electronic document wallet, where you can uh, have all your electronic ID uh, services. It's called DIA. And uh, there is passport, international passport, driver license, registration of your car. Uh, certificate of birth of your child, your marriage certificate. So all documents, what you really need, the presented in this uh, service, and we have integration with them. And again, the data privacy, like the holding and storing the data based on our national register, and we we, we uh, trust them. We use only the channel for authorization. And after that, people receive the service. Yeah, that's uh, very uh, impressed to to work on the several um, parts of the elements to deploy these important um, services for the citizen to access of the internet. Um, so uh, the I'd like to move the uh, next questions about the your landscape. Uh, you mentioned that the, you have uh, some collaboration with the international providers. Uh, there is uh, some uh, opportunities uh, to uh, create the futures, uh, to build the collaboration, the partnership. 
So what are your future planning to build a smart city in Kyiv? And what kind of the collaboration are you looking for this moment? Uh, we have a lot of plans in every sphere. It's quite ambitious uh, because uh, in our uh, role, we combine the operations of city management processes. And at the same time, we provide the front line for the citizens in communication. So if, if we talk about the city management, uh, we, we want to have digital twin. We hope I, I really need digital twin of the city to make the modeling because as I mentioned, we have more than 1 uh, million daily uh, vehicles in, in the city. It's uh, quite a lot. And uh, when we make the changement in the city, we have to model it and analyze um, the data, what, 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 what we have. In parallel, uh, we want to provide to citizens 100 um, control uh, of the city management um, through the application, where they see the uh, list of the services, they understand what 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 they have as a house uh, holder, and uh, what what services they can receive, what services they can receive as a veteran of the war, and etc. So. We want to provide uh, for our citizen services, not when they call them uh, by default. So you 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 see all uh, services, what is fits to you, to your role and to your position uh, in, in this moment, if you want. And um, of course, it's uh, transportation. It's big question in, in the city. It's... Uh, starting from the ecological points it's carbon natural uh, city what we are looking uh, for we have a lot of electricity um, vehicle uh, transport in uh, trolley buses in uh, our park but at the same time we have the buses and uh, we need to change it so all these processes can be digitalized in uh, in this way the drones, the policy about the drones, how to use the delivery inside the city. This is open questions and now we are negotiating civil defense. And it's not only about the war. Uh, it's about the national disasters. It's about the floating because our city is based on the river. It's about the fire for uh, forest fires because around our city, a lot of beautiful forests. So all these challenges, it's not about the war. I hope we finish it and we won in the nearest future. Uh, all these challenges will be in the future. And um, our main role now to prepare our city for any challenges which can be facing in the nearest future. It's about the civil defense. And... Um, of course, uh, we want to implement uh, as 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 possible AI uh, in the processes of delivering services of customer support, and um, at the same time uh, we want uh, to uh, to become free society without uh, too much control. Where is your personal data and your personal rights protected? So all this needs a lot of digital solutions. That's why we always open for, for partnership and for help, to, for support uh, in any sphere, what I mentioned before. Yeah, thank you for sharing. Uh, I heard that the, you have a very strong missions to create the better societies. Uh, we own it in some ways to collaborate in many commitment to create a better world. So thank you for sharing. Uh, in the last, I would like you to share the, some of the message. Uh, there is uh, some listeners all over the world uh, and uh, it's a very happy to share your thoughts and your message um, to the listeners. Mm, message to whom, sorry? Message to the listeners. 
Oh, listeners. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, we, we have uh, now the sentence which we write in the presentation that uh, uh, resilience through digitalization. Uh, the this this message means that uh, we we use digitalization in the way to make our city more strong to the challenges what it's facing now. Uh, I am the part of the digital world as as I see myself, and uh, the digital it's it's big power. It's a very important tool now in in uh, service providing and uh, and management processes and uh, first of all of course i want to call all, all people to use it in a peaceful way because as as a missile yeah we, we can launch the satellite and we can destroy ukrainian house so both in, in both ways there was missile but the goal was different so my goal is uh, let's use it in the peaceful way. Uh, let's learn from from our experience, and we are quite open and share it. And as I mentioned, the war challenge, it's only the um, only accumulative one point when you see all the uh, national disasters in what in one moment. But for example, Russian uh, yesterday destroyed one of the hydroelectronic uh, power plant uh, on our river. And uh, now they uh, handily made the flooding for the area of 40 cities, small cities. But this is handmade. It can happen with uh, any city as we see, the Germany, the uh, Romania and other uh, examples the challenge is the same so um from one point of view that the um, climate changes change everything on the our planet that means that our cities and our citizens have to be ready for all these challenges and uh, we all have to think about that because not always the management will be ready city management, national management will be ready for, uh, in this moment. So the citizens have to understand what to do. You know, like the uh, every citizens uh, of the Netherlands, they from the uh, childhood, they uh, learning to swim because their city and the, their country under the sea level. Uh, but not only the swimming helps you yeah as, as i mentioned we have much more challenges now and we have to be ready for them so learn from ukrainian experience how to be ready for these moments and uh, there where we are not so efficient we are open for any kind of support help from uh, international level and uh, let's let's collaborate and communicate and find the best way for 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 each other yeah thank you for sharing the important message i'm so happy to have a conversation with you like this then we should continue to work for the any ways to seek the peaceful actions through the digital war then thank you for having it's a very great time have a conversation more like so let's keep an updated. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you.